Welcome back to Life in Suzhou. My name is Josh and I've been living in China for four years. Many of my friends and family always ask me, how can you survive in China without knowing a lot of Chinese? But do you really need to know Chinese? Today we're going to go to different places and stores to find out how necessary Chinese is. There's a small store right behind me and we're going to start there. Uh, huh. No English labels, but it's pretty easy to guess what it is. Huh, I need some cheese. Where's the cheese? I probably should go ask the lady. Hello. Do you have cheese? Where? So I asked the lady where the cheese was and she showed me. Cheese. It wasn't that difficult to get the cheese. Although she didn't speak English, I easily used the translator. Anyhow, Alipay. So in general, although this is a foreign supermarket, I found more people would speak English. They really didn't, but it wasn't that difficult because all I had to do was use a translator. So it was a normal experience. So let's go check out other places. All right, so here's the pharmacy. I actually have never been in a pharmacy in China. Hello, can you speak English? So she can't speak English, so I'm going to try um wo yo ho long ho long so that is pretty difficult if you don't speak Chinese. <laughs> All right, so I did get the drug that I went in there to get. It was a little bit difficult because there is no translation on the box, so I can't be sure if I got what I needed. And she didn't speak English, but it wasn't really that difficult to use a translator. So I suggest if you're sick, it's better you translate it before you come so you know the exact drug you're getting. And if you need to, if it's something more serious and you need to go to a hospital, you can always ask a friend to help you. And there are a lot of foreign hospitals in Suzhou. So let's go somewhere else. So I'm looking for this bus station. Let me ask this guy over here. Hey, Ni Hao, uh, you know where the bus station is? Yeah, just go straight. Yeah. Road and turn right. And ah. you can see the bus station on your left All right, side. Yeah. thank you. Yeah. That guy spoke English, but let's try with another person to see our luck. Uh, hello. Do hey. you know where the bus station is? Uh, uh yeah, bus station is here. It's over here. It's, uh, it's here. Uh, and uh, you could, uh, you, uh, you need to, to go to the, the direction from that way. But not that way. So, okay. yeah. Alright, thank you. You need to, to go opposite. Opposite, alright. That guy was pretty nice and it is normally like this in Sujo. You do find some people who can speak English almost everywhere. So it's raining and we're close to a barber shop which is uh, pretty popular around campus. So I'm gonna go in and show you guys the prices and how they respond. Hello. Um, how much is it to dye hair? So the menu isn't in English, so I'm going to have to use a translator. So 
I guess they have different prices for different services. There's the most expensive one, which means you get the best treatment, and a cheaper one. So let's ask how much to cut hair. Um, it's pretty complicated, but luckily there's a pretty cool app to translate this. So right here it shows the exact translation in English. All right, she's here. All right, so they do have a lot of prices and there are a lot of variety in here and it depends on what you want to do and how you want to dye your hair. They have professional stylists and more or less professional stylists. So it might be much better if you bring a friend along with you or you have a translator. So right now we're going to go to the center of SIP which I think will have more people and more shops to look at. So here we are at Times Square. There are a lot of foreign stores here, a lot of Chinese stores, a lot of places to choose from and right now I'm going to be getting milk tea. Ni hao. I want milk tea. Laicha. Laicha. You want milk tea? Not one milk tea. Milk tea has a lot. I don't know. Hey, laicha. Huh? That hey cha, hey cha. Okay, just give me this. Hong Chan, take it. Oh, take it, take it, take it. Give me this. Di ga, ah. Pin de, ah. Pin de. Do you pay much? Ebay. Uh, even though he doesn't exactly, even though he doesn't exactly speak English, there's a menu here. There's a menu here that says it in English, and you can just point it out. So that guy wasn't at all surprised that I spoke Chinese. So now I'm gonna go try speaking Chinese somewhere else. Hey, Bawan, DTA Jan Jainar, DTA Jan. Should do it. Okay. How? Thank you. Uh, do you know where the train station is? Di Bruno ma. Ah, uh, Di Tie Zhang. Ah, Di Tie Zhang. On the way. Chi Chi Zhu Zhu hello. Excuse me. Do you know where the metro station is? Uh, yeah. So you go straight and then turn left, mm -hmm. and then go all the way down, and you yeah. Ah. Pretty cool. All right. Thank you. Um. Do you know where the train station is? DTA Zhang. We out to DTA Zhang. Oh, how? Thank you. So I asked a lot of people where the bus station and the metro station were, so I can get around to transportation. Some people did speak English, while some people could not speak English. And even though there was a guy who could not speak English, he was quite nice. But this isn't much of a problem because if you easily go on your phone, there are some Chinese apps and even an English app where you can check for the train station. So mostly, I would say you just look in the place and you can search in English. And it will show you where the closest train station is. So, cool. This experiment went pretty well. We went around asking people for where the train station was, and we went to barber shops and pharmaceuticals. So it is easy to get around without knowing Chinese. You can always translate it or point it out or just check it on your phone. But learning the culture would be much more advised because it's easier to communicate with other people and have deeper relationships. Also, there are more complicated services such as agencies, lawyers, or maybe doing bank transfers, which there are English services for. But it might be more helpful to take a Chinese friend with you.
If you ask me if you can survive in China without knowing Chinese, the answer is definitely yes. So if you like the video, uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, comment below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.